Okay, when you're doing a review of the literature, there is still a methodology. Even though you're not collecting data from subjects or participants, you are collecting data and your methods for actually searching for articles and organizing them should be recorded. So the first section is this overview. And you need to identify some of the careful procedures that you've used to select articles and convince the reader that it's been systematic. So here I've written several procedures were followed to ensure a high quality review of the literature on and whatever your topic is. Now you have to come up with your own wording. You don't want to copy my words uh, exactly because that would be plagiarism. So come up with something else, but you can follow that pattern. And then I list the procedure. So first, a comprehensive search of peer-reviewed journals. And that would be uh, important uh, in terms of what you've included. You might put relevant uh, academic books, but not conference papers or reports was uh, completed based on a wide uh, a series of key terms, including, and then put in your key terms. What, what were the keywords that you used? Okay, Cause, so that's, that's important. And then you might identify some of the key databases that were searched. Uh, now, I know you probably used a UOIT library search, and that's what I'm using now. But in the past, I've looked at key databases, and it's not a bad idea to do that. In the wiki, it'll show you how to search these databases, but these are the, some of the key ones, although they might vary depending on the subject that you're looking at. I also mentioned Google Scholar and some other ones here. So you're, you're basically saying where you looked, and that's the first thing. Now, second, uh, you may refer to the reference section for each article was, re was searched in order to find additional articles, because that's a method. Third, key educational and technology journals from around the world were searched independently. And it's a good idea to look at the journals and start to search them to see what's available. New articles particularly come up, which don't come up in the actual database search. And I've found that. So you list some of the key art, uh, research journals that you've assessed. Now, you haven't assessed maybe a lot right now, but when you're completed, you know, completed your review, you will be able to provide a good list. And then you summarize saying the search process uncovered this many articles published from this year to that year so that the, the reader gets a good idea of the scope of your review.